everybody. Thank you for uh, tuning into Pots, Pans, and Pioneers, and I hope everybody's having a great new year. I wanted to uh, put this video up for those looking for a new washer and dryer for the new year. I know there are lots of sales going on with Lowe's and Home Depot and any of the major, even Sears is having great deals. But I wanted to share this great deal with you and um, let you guys know what I think about this particular brand. Now, I was a big, um, big on trying out the front loader machines. At our house in Texas, I had a front loader machine, and I hated it. And I hated it because it didn't really um, work out for me because sometimes I have a few little items because I do a lot of crafting and sewing. Uh, I like to, sometimes I like to wash my fabrics before. So if I had just a yard of fabric or two yards of fabric, I couldn't throw it in the machine and expect it to do a wash because there is a mechanism on the inside of the front loaders that um, you put your stuff in there it weighs it or there's a sensor that kicks on it weighs it and if it's not enough weight the machine won't operate it just won't shut on it won't go on so <clears throat> that was one thing I hated the other thing I hated was when you're done with even one wash let's just say you're able to do it all uh, you had to leave the door open at the end of every wash for it to ventilate. It wouldn't air out the machine, which means condensation, you know, always has humidity, which equals mildew, and it puts an odor in your clothes. So I wore off the, you know, the, it was really quickly. I hated it from probably a week after using it. And um, I always wanted to get a top loader. So I sold that set even, I think the people that we sold it to, I told him all the reasons why I hated it, but his wife wanted to try it. So he bought that set from us. So when we moved here to Arkansas, there was a set already here. It was pretty gross, but I cleaned it up enough to be able to use it for a year. And most recently I got these uh, around September, October. October-ish. I got these machines and I really enjoyed them. There's some things I don't like and I'm going to talk about that here in a second but there's some things I really do like about this machine. The very first thing is there's only two people here so I can wash two loads of laundry a week with no issue. This thing holds an enormous amount of laundry. I have a a uh, a, a load washing right now and it has a little bit left to go and otherwise I'll open it up and let you guys see that here in just a, a few minutes but <clears throat> let's talk about the fact that it's American made this is a Maytag machine and the brand on it is called a Bravos XL and this is their um, commercial or I would say semi-commercial uh, line and it's got a 10-year warranty on it, bumper to bumper, which I think is awesome. And it's the energy efficient. And while it's running, let me talk to you a little bit about the features of this machine. <clears throat> there is a couple of things on this panel I don't really like, but I've been able to figure out how to work around it. <clears throat> so I have no cold water running through uh, out here. I only have, uh, excuse me, I have no hot water running out to this laundry shed <clears throat> or what I'm calling my shop um, I only have cold water so the very first thing I did was set this to cold only because it's not there's no water gonna come through if you select the warm or hot um, because we've capped it off and there's no way for it to you know load water in there um, <clears throat> the second thing I like about it is you're able to pick your soil levels so if you've been working out in the garden all day you know it's going to be a pretty dirty laundry you've not been able to shake out uh, or you've shaken out all the loose dirt but you know you still have pretty heavy dirty laundry you can do an extra heavy you can add an extra rinse and you can even tell it that this is it needs to be a deep clean and it has a setting for the oxy treatment which is you know a lot of the um the detergents now they have uh, oh, here's one they have this oxy clean additive that's added in here and that's a setting that 
you know, I always keep on because more than likely that's what's going to, you know, be in this machine. What I cannot use in this is the homemade laundry soap. Sadly, um, <clears throat> until I can find a, a homemade laundry soap that won't gunk up over time, uh, I won't be able to use it in this machine. I'll have to use a high efficiency soap. And if any of you have a recipe for the high efficiency machines that don't gunk up your machine over a period of time, I'd love to have those. Just please leave them in the comment section. This also has a deep water wash. Uh, it has a setting for bedding, which I think is really cool. And then there's a sanitizing with, uh, with Oxy, which is really, uh, that's, you know, just sanitizing your, your machine. Um, and then there's a rinse and spin, which if you just have something you want to rinse out, you don't really want to add soap, that's a great little feature to have. Obviously, um, these are the wash, the other wash cycles. There's a cold water, a wrinkle control, which I've never used, and a delicates, which I've not used. There's a soak, which I've not used yet. And then there's a clean washer with a fresh. Now, the clean water with a fresh really mainly works, and this is the a fresh tablet. You take it out of here and you throw it in the sink. It works really best with hot water or warm water. So what I do is just boil up a kettle of water or a pot of water and I dissolve this first and then run it through the machine um, because obviously it takes a while and it'll leave this residue if you don't uh, if you only do this on cold sadly there's also a power wash which adds an enormous amount of time to your wash cycle so I have not used that um, you know as you turn the dial and I can show you on a minute as you turn the dial the time changes over here so um, it does have a loud, a loud chime. I don't have a way or know of a way yet to turn off the chime, but uh, you can turn it off. What I the, Some of the features I don't like about this is there's a lid lock on here, and there's not really a way to disable it. Uh, but let's just say uh, you want to add fabric softener in on your rinse cycle. You have to add it into the little cup, and it'll add it for you, but... I don't really like to use these cups that they these uh, laundry soap dispensers because I get really gum you know gunked up on you. So I really I don't like using them. But I would love to be able to lift the lid and add that, or even the you know any of the fabric fresheners or anything like that. I'd be able to love to be able to add that, but you can't. Um, and it's about to spin out the clothes here. I do like this tempered glass. I'm able to see the laundry through it. I don't have an agitator on this, but this particular model does come with an agitator uh, model. So if you like the agitator, you could absolutely do that. I just chose to, to try this non-agitator, and so far I like it. It works great. Um, stains have come out. It, it really, you know, it works great. This is a pretty good tall machine, um, and this is a 5.2, and it's fairly large. It'll hold two... Uh, size laundry baskets like this you know the Walmart laundry baskets like that it'll hold two of these but what you have to remember is you've got to add more soap so instead of maybe one pod you add two instead of you know maybe a half cup of laundry detergent you add three quarters of a cup I mean you just have to you have to monitor your size load and add enough soap otherwise your clothes are just really being rinsed so, um, anyway, it's starting its rinse cycle now. And we have a lot of hard water, so um, it'd be nice to be able to, you know, add the <clears throat> water softeners and things like that. But the lid is actually locked, and you cannot lift it during this time. So, let's move on to the dryer. Now, <clears throat> I got this set at Lowe's. It was already uh, on sale. And then my husband, he gets a military discount, which is on our account already. I don't even have to ask for it. They just give it to us. And um, then I also had uh, a coupon that I got in the mail because we shop at Lowe's quite a bit. And I got a gift card coupon. So this set ended up, after everything was said and done with free delivery, costing about $500 a piece. 
Um, and I think this retailed for like $6.99 each, so I think I got a pretty good deal. I <clears throat> I got an automatic um, two-year extended warranty, and it comes with the 10-year um, <clears throat> warranty here on the drive motor, <clears throat> excuse me, in the wash basket, which is important. <clears throat> anyway, let's go over here to the dryer. Sorry, I'm frogging my throat today. This is <clears throat> the Bravos XL. <clears throat> okay, this is the dryer, and this is the Bravos XL, and this obviously is a match to the washing machine. And um, I'll turn it on so you can hear it. I always have it set to normal, but what I really love about this uh, dryer is that you have all these different settings. So you have a power dry, heavy duty bedding, which is very cool. Uh, and it, there's also a sanitize on this one. You don't put anything wet in here, but I think it will, uh, I think it does like a, a sanitize on its own. And then um, there's a denim button, which is kind of cool. It just dries your clothes a little longer. See how it adds time. So it would add five more minutes. <clears throat> there's a wrinkle control, which I think it's really for like maybe dress shirts and things like that. There's a delicates, a rapid dry, and then a time dry. If you like the time dry, you can set an add time by pressing the minus or plus sign. I just keep this on normal. Mostly normal, all of them. So, um... <clears throat> Then there's temperature. I do uh, next to the high. I use this one because if you dry your clothes on on super hot, it really breaks down the fibers and the threads, and it really makes things come unraveled. Um, there's a dry level. I have it all the way up to the top, and then the wrinkle preventer. I've tried to use this with off, and it it's really horrible. Every even my towels are wrinkled. It's so strange. But anyway, I use this. Uh, wrinkle prevent and then the energy saver there's a damp dry signal which is it signals when it's you know damp dry and then I can leave the audio level on uh, every time you turn this machine on it tells you it reminds you to check the lint screen but I clean it out after each one so this is only just a reminder it also gives you a really cool um, it gives you a really cool thing uh, so you know if you're hose is kind of getting clogged it'll give you a good airflow uh it'll tell you to check the vent whether it's inside or outside uh, you can that's when you know that your vent needs to be checked and uh, the sensing means it's weighing the amount of laundry that you have in this machine and then it'll kick on uh it'll keep going or kick or, you know it adjust to the to the size um of laundry and this dryer is a 7.0 I believe 7.0 and I usually keep towels up here because I don't want this to get chipped or scratched or anything um, and I you know I dust it off quite a bit I'd like to keep it as new as possible um, this has LED lighting so when you kick the dryer on it, it automatically has that it's got a front lint it's really big big dryer inside uh, and then you know it, it has the lint thing and then I, I take a vacuum and clean all that out like every two weeks or so so that that has that and uh, just a really big opening uh, the floor is not level so this door keeps wanting to shut but that has nothing to do with this mechanism here um, just a great overall machine um, one of the things that, uh, I, another one thing I hate about this machine, these machines is that if, you, if you're if you over here and say you decided to even fo fold clothes on top of here uh, and you accidentally hit the power button, no matter what, what area of the cycle you're in, it deletes it. And there's no way to pick back up. Let's just say it just got through washing and it was moving to a rinse cycle and you accidentally hit that button. It will not go back and remember where it was. I, you would just have to go to a rinse and spin automatically. So there is a there is an out on that. But other than that, I love this machine. And if you have a you know, I got a really big machine. The reason I went this big is because I have a king size 
sheets and comforter and well I have a quilt but um, I wanted to be able to throw that in here because out here living rurally you don't you don't have dry cleaners so there's not a way to really and laundromats are scarce uh, you'd have to drive pretty far to get to a laundromat so I like the ability to be able to wash all of my linens and dry all of my linens including the bedding so super important I really wanted to have that so I hope you enjoyed this review I really really like both of these machines and uh, the final and only last thing I'll do is when this stops we can I'll pull clothes out and I'll let you see how big this tub is and um, so we'll be back in just a moment okay it's getting to the end of its spin cycle I have it on max which really helps dry your clothes before you put them in the dryer it really saves on dry time so I have it all the way up to the end over there and I've turned on my light here so y'all can see the depth of this tub is just really big um, I'm five foot five uh, and I do have to stand on my tiptoes to get in the bottom of this thing <clears throat> but it's totally worth it um, obviously you're not going to fall in but um, all right and then the machine will automatically shut off and the little done light comes on and then when I lift the lid and l lower the lid, I'll show you another feature here real quick. Now watch this lid. You know, most dry, most washers, and um, when you when you let go of the lid, it's, it bangs down on this, right? But they have a little mechanism, since this is the tempered glass thing in here, that I'm going to let it go, and you're going to see it soft close. That's really nice. It's a real nice feature. You don't have to worry about accidentally you know nothing happening so you see how deep this thing is it's super deep and obviously your uh, liquid and uh, bleach can go in here and I don't use these but um, you can tell that's where you put your your liquid detergents and softeners and OxyClean and all that stuff if you were to do this. Um, and I don't know of a way without breaking it on how to get those out to clean them. So I've decided to opt not to use these at all and just load everything into the top. But that is available for people who want to use that. So anyway, I'm going to get these clothes out of here, but super deep. Um, let me just show you, give you a dimension on how deep it is. I'm going to use a broom handle. You know, just your standard everyday wooden broom, right? And I'll just mark it right here, your tub height. And then just, I'll show you here real quick. So, super deep super deep tub so there's another way to gauge it it's just a big deep tub and I'll put my room back up here but anyway I hope uh, you enjoyed this review and I hope you will join me for other reviews that I do on products nobody pays me for my reviews I actually just like to give my own biased opinion, so um, please don't send me things to review because I probably won't. Um, I like to buy things and review them on my own and, you know, just give an honest opinion. But if you're in the market for, you know, a washer and dryer or maybe even just a washer or even just a dryer, you know, this is something that I think would be a great purchase it does have cons I think everything does but I would recommend uh, a Maytag which I've only owned one in my lifetime of washing on my own and uh, this will be my second one so they do last a long time I don't have to worry about servicing the machine oh and something else that you might want to consider not only does Lowe's sell this set but Sears sells this set if you just completely hate Lowe's because I know there's a lot of people out there that don't really like Lowe's or Home Depot. Sears sells this too. And if I don't have any service calls within the first two years, Lowe's will refund uh, 
what I spent on my two-year service contract. They'll refund that. So I thought that was a great uh, thing. I just have to keep track of it. It is my job to keep track of that. So anyway. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.